Well, Randy, your PC sucks Pitchford has delivered upon us. Well, I can't hate it. It's a pretty good game, but Borderlands 4 and it runs bad. I mean, real bad. But you know, I've been hearing about a setting in the NVIDIA control panel that might just not only fix the performance for Borderlands 4, but might even improve your FPS in all your games. Does it? Well, let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. I have been getting absolutely blinded by my lights, so I'm giving sunglasses a try. Let me know if you prefer them on or off in the comments below. But enough, let's talk about this new setting called NVIDIA Shader Cache Size. Now, this setting should in theory allow your PC to, well, store a lot more shader information. And when you launch games that are pretty new these days, you might see shader compilation happening. And at a certain point at the default settings, some of those shader files are gonna have to be basically tossed in the bin. But if you go into the NVIDIA control panel, go to your global settings and change this from default to 100 gigabytes, well, some people are claiming that it is giving massive performance increases or at least fixing the stuttering when it comes comes to Borderlands 4. So I, of course, actually put this to the test and included four other games. That's right, we're gonna be taking a look at five different games with the shader cache size at default, as well as at the 100 gigabyte custom setting to see if it really does improve your FPS. Well, let's jump in first to Borderlands 4 because this is really what kicked it off and we can see on the default shader cache size, I got an average FPS on the RTX 5090 at 4K using max settings in DLSS on balance. Yes, I got 71 FPS on average and then 38 FPS for the 1% lows. That's a pretty big ouch, fellas. But when you take a look at the 100 gigabyte shader cache size setting, well, things do actually change quite a bit. We're talking about 77 FPS on average now, which is an increase of 8%. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but it is something. However, look at the 1% lows. We've now gone from 38 to 46 FPS, and that is a 21% improvement on the 1% lows. Simply by changing one setting in your NVIDIA control panel, you can kind of fix this game. Now, the overall performance is still pretty low. It's not great, let's be honest. However, in my experience, and I'll just tell you anecdotally as well, for Borderlands 4 specifically, it definitely seemed like it was having a lot less stuttering. I mean, it just felt way more smooth, way more consistent. So at least for this game, yeah, it actually does appear to be working. But you might be asking the question, what about those other games? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go ahead and take a look. So next up, I am going to be taking a look at Black Myth Wukong 4K Max settings using DLSS Balanced once again, because my God, these days, good luck trying to run 4K native. Anyway, you can take a look here and yeah, look on the RTX 5090. The performance is pretty much the same. We're really not seeing a whole lot of difference using the default versus 100 gigabyte setting here. So let's move on. I mean, could this be how all other games are? Well, taking a look at Counter-Strike 2, another very popular game, 4K max settings, and running actually 4K native this time, we are actually seeing that once again, there is a performance improvement going from default to 100 gigabytes. It's strange, but we are seeing a 6% average FPS uplift and 5% more on the 1% lows. So not a ton, but it is pretty good still. And then we have next Cyberpunk 2077. And here we actually technically got a regression, although the difference between these results are basically margin of error. Next up, taking a look at Fortnite, 4K max settings and using DLSS balanced, here we are seeing a small performance increase as we go from 145 FPS on the default to 153 using the 100 gigabyte setting. That is a 6% uplift on average, although the 1% lows while they did increase. It's pretty much margin of error here once again. And I did go ahead and quickly test some other games and I'll tell you guys this much. I was seeing some pretty similar stuff out of other games as well. It was either not much of an improvement or some games here and there would see a little bit larger of an improvement, but it wasn't anything insane like Borderlands 4. And when we take a look at the actual five game average, 
what you're gonna notice here is that, well, the average FPS on default is 138, and it jumps up to 145 when using the custom 100 gigabyte setting across the five games that I went ahead and tested. That is, on average, a 5% gain, which is just over the margin of error, meaning that, yes, in theory, across a wide range of games, or at least you can call five wide, but look, I only have so much time. Fellas, cut me a break here. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to expand to even more games, or if you have other games you'd like me to check. But yeah, I mean, look, uh, across five games to get a 5% increase in performance, hey, that's not nothing. And it costs you nothing. It's free. That's pretty good. Yes, the 1% lows, a little bit less impressive. 87 FPS to 90, that's a 3% increase. That could be considered potentially margin of error depending on how you calculate the numbers. But look, at the end of the day, simply by changing one setting, you could run into some games that give you as much as a 21% performance uplift as we saw on Borderlands 4. And in a worst case scenario, you might not see any uplift or a margin of error difference one way or the other. And look, if it can't hurt, but it might help, I would say go ahead and give it a try if you have the disk space available as yes, there is a potential where if you're not wiping this ever, one day it might actually get into the 10, 20, 30, 40 gigabyte range. I'm not quite sure. I wouldn't put it to unlimited as, I mean, look, I don't want to give unlimited disk access to shader files, but 100 gigabytes, that is way more than enough. And I'm actually going to go ahead and leave mine on 100 gigabytes for all my Windows installs going forward if I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card, because yeah, 21% performance uplift, that is nothing to scoff at, especially when it only takes one second out of my day to flip over the setting. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that 100 gigabytes is the best setting? Maybe 10 gigabytes, maybe a different setting entirely? Is there something else in the control panel you'd like me to investigate? Or would you like me to investigate even more games using these settings? Let me know what your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.